Um, if you guys can tell, we have a different horse here. Her name is Kit. We recently just got her. Don't worry, Jube is right there because they can't be separated because they're best friends. Um, some things about her is that she's a seven-year-old um, bay quarter horse. Um, we don't know her parents or anything, so we don't really know much more about her, but um, she has a very big personality, and um, let's just get on to tacking up. So the first thing you're going to need is a saddle pad. English saddle pads are a lot lighter and a lot thinner than a Western saddle pad. Um, these range anywhere from like 10 to $40. They're really cheap and you can collect them, so it's nice. So with the saddle pad, you're going to want to just throw it up on your pony's back. You're gonna to wanna to start up on their neck and slide down. You never wanna go from the back and slide up because that just messes up their hip. So you're gonna to wanna to slide back. You want the center line of your saddle pad to be centered with their spine and the front of the saddle pad to be about in the middle of their shoulder. So not everybody does this, but um, you can use a half pad. There are many different types of half pads. The more common ones are the ones that are just like that. Um, I just like to use this because it's a little bit thicker and um, you can just layer it because these saddle pads are really thin and this just helps protect their back. So you're just gonna throw this up on their back, right up on your saddle pad. So this is my English saddle. Um, I have mine in the color chestnut. Doesn't really matter, you can have any type, but as long as it's an English saddle. Again, English saddles are a lot lighter than Western saddles, so. Um, so what you're gonna wanna do is you're just gonna throw this up on your horse's back gently. You don't wanna scare them or hurt them. So you just wanna layer it on their back. It looks like right now. And you're gonna need your girth, which is if you ride Western like your cinch, this is what keeps your saddle on. So first what you're gonna wanna do is if your girth has a ring, locate that towards their face. So that and you can clip it on it if you would have a breast strap or something. Okay, right, so then the next thing you wanna do is you're gonna wanna take these and you'll notice that your um, English saddle pad and half pad will have a little strap you want to put that in there that just helps it from not sliding and your saddle has three straps you're going to want to put it on your first strap and i just put it on like hole one or two and you're going to want to put it on your last strap you're not going to put it on the middle strap okay so then you have it clipped on and now you're just going to go to and now you're just going to go to the other side so once you're done you will see i put it on the first and last strap and to tighten it you just go up on each buckle on both sides and like right now since she's just sitting it's pretty loose but and then here it is on the other side okay and before you ride you're going to want to run down your irons which is really easy you just hold place to your saddle and then run these down and then your irons are ready and if you're wondering how you run them up you're going to take this and you're going to pull it all the way up and then take this little loop and stick it through the iron and then that just helps with storage well i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys want any other videos then you guys can tell me i know that my comments are turned off i don't know why but um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys in the next one bye